What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. My name's Dalton. Uh, what I do is I sell shoes on platforms like Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay. And what I do with this channel is give you guys some tips, tricks, or insights on how I do what I do in order to help you guys out so you can replicate it and do it for yourselves. So in this video, I wanted to talk about the first investment you need to make when you start reselling period, whether it be shoes or anything that you're interested in. And that is your photography setup. A lot of people think they need to spend hundreds of dollars on a nice light box, a good camera, or a good setup, period. But that's not necessarily the case. You can do a pretty good job and take pretty good photos on a very, very limited budget. And in addition to the actual photography setup that I use, I'm also going to go over how I photograph shoes and how I present them, them in the best possible way. So as for the actual setup, um, I'm going to start with the most expensive thing first. For my background, I use these wood planks. I got these at the craft section at Walmart. They cost, I believe, $10 a piece. So as you can see, those aren't exactly cheap because I have six of them right here. So that ended up costing $60, but there are much cheaper options to start out with. I just personally really like the way this looks and I had a little extra money to spend on it, but this definitely isn't what I started out with. I started out with like white poster board from the Dollar Tree. My photo, my background initially only cost $2. That was the white poster board, and then another one to lay flat. I believe the wood background looks a lot better, but you choose what you like and you stick with that. If you do want the wood background and you don't wanna spend $60 to get started, I believe Amazon sells, I don't know if they're laminate, but they look like wood, they're not actual wood. I know they're a lot cheaper than buying these actual wood craft planks from Walmart. Now for the lighting. This is where most people think it starts to get expensive. Uh, they think they need to buy ring lights or box lights or something fancy. I, I don't think that's that's necessary at all. I just use these um, clamp lamps. I got these at Goodwill for $5 each, but Amazon sells them for less than $15, I believe, for a set of two. And then for the light bulb, I also got them at Walmart. They're these LED daylight bulbs. You need to make sure that they're daylight. The normal lights that you see in houses are normally um, soft white they give off a like a yellow tint and you definitely don't want that. These daylight bulbs, as you can see, it's just a straight white light. There's no yellow tint to it. So when using these daylight bulbs, it's not giving the appearance of your shoe being a different color than it really is. It's not adding color to the picture. It's showing the buyer exactly what the actual color of the shoe is, as opposed to giving it that yellow tint. Then you'll also need to find a way to set these lights up because they're just these little clamps. You have to find something to clamp them to. Um, you can get creative with it, find something to clamp it onto. Um, but I personally just use these tripods. Um, I find these at Goodwill or thrift stores all the time. They always have them for a couple bucks, but you can also get these on Amazon. I believe Amazon Basic sells one that is less than $10, so this is a nice inexpensive way to set the lights up. Now as far as the setup goes, guys, that's really it. Um, all you need is a background and some lighting equipment. I'll put links down in the description for everything that I use so you guys can take a look at that, see if it's something that you'd be interested in. Now we're going to jump into what I use to photograph shoes specifically. It's true with just about any item you're selling, but shoes especially, the better the photograph you take, the higher you can sell the item for and the quicker it's going to sell for you. I think the most important thing when photographing the shoe is to give the shoe the appearance of it being on a foot so the buyer knows exactly what it's going to look like on their feet gives them a better idea of what exactly it is they're buying. So in order to do that, I use these shoe trees. These will slide right into the shoe and it just really fills the shoe up just like someone's foot would. These are really cheap as well, less than $10 for two sets of them. But if you don't want to spend that money, um, you, can, you can stuff them with a sock or some tissue paper. These shoes right here look just about the same and they're stuffed with packing paper. So you can definitely use packing paper, socks, whatever you have to fill up a shoe, but you just need to make sure that your shoe looks full when you're photographing them. Now, as you know, some shoes don't have backs, so the shoe tree would just slide right out the back, wouldn't fit in there properly. So for those, I also have shoe trees. I don't know exactly what they're called. I'll put a link to them in the description so you can find them, but you use these for shoes that don't have backs because they kind of hold their own form, uh, like flip-flops or sandals or heels or whatever it is. And they will fill that shoe up just like the shoe tree would. Now for the actual photography of the shoes, all the selling platforms give you a certain amount of photos that you can use in your listing. eBay's 12, Mercari's 12, I believe Facebook's 12, but Poshmark is eight. So I like to have a set number of photos that I take of each pair of shoes that I can use on each platform. So I'm not using different photos for each platform. 
And since Poshmark's the lowest and only allows you eight photos, I have eight angles that I take of every single pair of shoes. I'll roll those right here so you can get an idea of which angles I'm taking pictures of the shoes from. You need to make sure that you're showing every single angle of the shoe, each side, the insides, the back, the front, the top, the outsoles, so your buyers get an idea of exactly what they're buying. Because if they're buying, say, a pair of running shoes, but if you don't photograph the bottom of the shoes and they're expecting a nice pair of running shoes that are gonna last them a little bit, and when they get them in the mail, there's no tread left, they're not gonna be happy. So you need to make sure that they know exactly what they're buying before they buy it, and the way to do that is through these good, well-lit photos that show every single angle, as well as a thorough description that shows them exactly what they are buying. So really, guys, that's it. Uh, just to reiterate, if you're having trouble selling shoes, or anything for that matter, really look at your photos and see if there's any way that you can make your photographs better. Because the number one way to make your listing stand out, even if you have a higher price, is better photographs. If someone's scrolling through eBay or Poshmark or Mercari, and they see some shoes, they're willing to pay more for a very well photographed pair of shoes that are well lit, they know exactly what they're buying, as opposed to a pair of shoes that they're not seeing every single angle, it's not very bright, the shoes aren't all in frame. So just really look at how you're taking your photographs and see if there's any way that you can improve on that. Because I know for me, when I started taking better photos, I got a nice well lit area to take photos in, a nice background. That's when I really started to see consistent sales every single day. So I hope you guys found some value from this video. Um, if you like this kind of content, I really hope you consider to subscribe. If you liked it, please give the video a thumbs up. If you have any questions at all about the stuff you've seen in this video, uh, please leave them down in the comments. I'll get back to every single one of you. And thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.